How is it going everybody and welcome to my channel and today this is a discussion video regarding something that a lot of my viewers and a lot of people that are fans of uh, us have been asking about and that is where is Shin Megami Tensei 5 so uh, real quick guys I am doing a giveaway right now for Catherine uh, full body which is a game by Atlas uh, this game uh, will be out in September 3rd and the giveaway will be ending in August uh, 31st so definitely check it out if you want to join there will be a link in the description. Shin Megami Tensei 5 was announced uh, two years ago in 2017 um, initially when they announced this game they uh, announced this for the switch announced that this was going to be made in unreal engine and uh everybody was kind of like hyped i mean this is really good news new system this uh switch is a wonderful system with a lot of good specifications portability aspect is the best part of the game uh console so a lot of people just seeing that it's kind of like wow yes awesome but it's been two years and we have not heard a single thing from atlas about this game well not Truly and not not really. So the last bits of news just kinda going back into history about it. Uh, so we heard about it in 2017, we didn't hear about it for a while. We did an interview uh, back in 2018 with the director and uh, he was talking about how uh, we're facing a lot of challenges as far as uh, you know learning to code in a new engine and a new um, console. So there's a lot of stuff that they're kind of solving and everything. And the last piece of uh, news that we had about this game was back in April. So if you guys remember back in April, we had a lot of leaked discussions regarding um, Persona 5 coming into the Switch and all people talking about uh, wanting ports of Persona games onto the Switch and so on. So um, at that time people were kind of like, well if we can port Persona 5, can we get an, an update on Persona, uh, I'm sorry, Shin Megami Tensei 5 since it's already something that they've been working on and everything and we did get a little bit of an update at that time and at the time they talked about the same thing, they're still facing issues, learning a new console, uh, you know, coding for a new console, coding with the new um, Unreal Engine which is the engine that they usually do and they usually have their, their particular engine that they use and everything so they have a uh, things that are facing and everything but that's all we heard so far so on that aspect where is Shin Megami Tensei 5 the reason why we're talking about this is because um, while Atlas has been um, pretty much radio silent about this they have not been radio silent at all they actually talk a lot about different games like some of the Persona games that they've been doing I mean uh, since uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 has been announced we had a uh, a release of like through uh, three or four Persona games, uh, Persona Dancing games, uh, Persona Q2 game, and uh, Persona 5 uh, The Royal, which is coming out sometime this year in Japan. So, uh, four different games and another game that they were talk working on um, with a different uh, team and everything like that. So, uh, needless to say, uh, Atlas is a small company, and uh, if you guys don't know what happened back in uh, one of the reasons that made Persona 5 uh, take so long to develop is because uh, at the time Atlas was actually going through bankruptcy uh, they were not doing good um, a lot of the uh, there were a lot of moving parts and pieces and everything and they eventually got bought out by Sega who uh, is now their parent company Sega owns uh, Atlas to dictate what the games want what money they want and so on so uh, if you know Sega for something else they are pretty famous for for making a lot of their biggest properties like Sonic they milk the hell out of him they have so many set spin-off games and that kind of stuff um, one of the biggest biggest reason why we have uh, Joker in um, Super Smash Bros is because Sega owns Atlas and they're able to uh, put that money into having that character in uh, Super Smash Bros sure it's a decision by Nintendo but nonetheless the character is owned by Sega so they have the final say and that kind of stuff so um, all these bits and stuff, you really imagine that they do have an uh, effect on the development of games and that kind of stuff. It's been two years since this is done, they have announced um, Shin Megami Tensei 5 and that trailer that we had, had no gameplay whatsoever. It had only uh, 3D renditions of some uh, demons from uh, Shin Megami Tensei and uh, it just kind of showed the logo and everything like that. So my guess uh, is that they had just started development on Shin Megami Tensei 5 whenever they announced it on 2017. I don't really think that they had um, 
uh, something at that time uh, they just needed something because a uh, switch was gonna be announced they needed something so people know that there are games coming out on the switch and I think that's the reason why a lot of they haven't talked much about it uh, to be honest I do believe that uh, Persona 5 the Rojo was developed right after Persona 5 ended uh, I'm pretty sure that they had just like finished it they already already working on some other stuff. Do you have all these spin-offs that they're working on and everything like that? Uh, the P Studio, which is the one that develops um, Persona stuff, is a different studio than the ones that they work for uh, Shin Megami Tensei games and that kind of stuff. They have different teams and everything like that. Um, the main director that did Persona 3, 4, and 5 has left P Studio. They have they have he's actually working on a different project now. Um, which is a video that I already did before on. So uh, there is a new director that is going to be working and uh, with the P Studio for new projects and everything like that. So there's a lot of changes on on Atlas and everything. That being said, there is no excuse about it because Atlas, we need to know what is going on with Shin Megami Tensei 5. It's been a while. A good small little trailer for 30 seconds or a minute long will be fine to meet me. I just gotta know what, what know what's going on with it. Um, Shin Megami Tensei is a really good series that has a much different teams from Persona. Persona has a specific type of team which is kind of like this cool um, vibe team and everything like this, a social aspect to them and everything like that. Sure, it does deal with psychological stuff and everything, but I think that um, one of the biggest things about Shin Megami Tensei is that that's what they deal the most about is that psychological aspect. It's like a almost like a psychological thriller, uh, mystery aspect to it, which is very different in tone from Persona. And uh, uh, sure, Persona games are one of my favorite games, but uh, Shin Megami Tensei has its own color, tone, and style to it, and that's also very acceptable. It's the style that I like a lot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any theories of what's going on and everything let me know in the comments below are uh, you hoping that we hear something this year maybe next year uh let me know anyway that's pretty much it for today thanks so much for watching this and i'll see you next time